in our study, we also use wearable devices, um, and they, uh, there has been a preliminary report with uh, 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 six patients in the, in the U.S., where they use the Empatica E4 device. This is a device that captures different kinds of, bi of biosignals. It captures heart rate, for example, accelerometry, and electrodermal activity, which, which is kind of a marker of, of stress, of, of sympathetic activity. Um, and it looks like, in, in, at least in some of the patients, that these multimodal data can be used, can be combined as well to forecast seizures. Again, with kind of, I would say, modest uh, results in, in, as, as a group overall, but these are very, very important for SEPs, I would say. Uh, and this is, of course, is, this, this comes after some studies that were done in, uh, in the epilepsy monitoring unit in the hospital, where patients had their video EEG recordings done as usual, and at the same time, they wore a wearable device. Of course, this is much more closer to real life, where patients are actually wearing these devices in, in the wild, right? With all these advantages and disadvantages. And, and, and uh, uh, But of course, this is a step forward, I would say. 